Welcome, I'm Ian Baker and today I'm going to cover how to properly guide an RV into the campsite, avoid unnecessary miscommunication and probably unnecessary fights between the driver and spotter. As always, timestamps will be in the description as well as a chapter bar if you want to skip ahead to a certain section. Also, before we start, it's important to know the difference between guiding a towable RV versus guiding a motorhome. You see, a motorhome will react like every other vehicle you've driven when backing up. If you want to go left, you turn the wheel left, and naturally, if you want to go right, you turn the wheel to the right. However, with a towable, because the pivot point, the opposite is actually true. If you cut the wheel to the left, the rear of the trailer will go right, and therefore, if you cut the wheel to the right, the rear of the trailer will go left. Towables are also slower to respond to steering changes, which means you need to provide advice to the driver earlier. Also with the towable, it is sometimes easier to straighten out and attempt to back up again rather than risking jackknifing your trailer. All right, with that out of the way, let's start with why having a spotter is important. A spotter is oftentimes your spouse, a friend, or fellow camper at a neighboring campsite. However, sometimes people with the best intentions try to help and end up doing more harm than good. Kind of like this guy. Hey, I got you. You see, without a spotter, you risk running into obstacles, denting your RV, or damaging critical components like your AC unit because you couldn't see overhanging branches or other unforgiving items in your way. But your spotter needs to know how to guide smartly. Keep coming. Doing great. Yeah, friend, I see you back there. Doing that, that's it, that's it, that nut. Oh, yep. Have a good one. In any campground, spotters and drivers yelling back and forth could be a daily occurrence and effective communication is critical when navigating your RV, and it goes a long way toward protecting your investment. So today, we're gonna cover some best practices in being a great spotter and basic hand signals so you fully understand how to guide an RV. So let's jump into best practices of being a great spotter. The spotter needs to position themselves so the driver can see them in a side view mirror. As a spotter, you need to pay extra close attention to the passenger side of the vehicle and RV as that side is often much harder to see when backing into the campsite. Keep an eye on overhead clearance to make sure the RV doesn't run into branches instead of focusing only on the tires or lower parts of the RV. I also highly recommend using walkie-talkies as they can be extremely helpful to facilitate clearer driver-spotter communication. This is also more respectful to fellow campers than shouting back and forth, especially if you're pulling into a campground late at night. Now let's get into the meat and potatoes, if you will, of guiding an RV, and that's proper hand signals and verbal cues. The first hand signal is stop. The best signals are either a single closed fist or to make an X with your arms. Try to avoid the flat palm of your hand as it may not be fully understood. Next up is telling the driver to go left or right. Right or left? Right. right. Who's right? Your call. Th that's not helpful. You're upset. Go with what you feel, dude. That's not helpful. The proper signal here is simply pointing your arm straight out to one side or the other, signaling which direction the RV needs to go. To instruct the driver to go straight back, it is recommended to have your arms parallel and move them toward and away from the driver, bending at the elbows. When getting close to the final trailer destination, it's important to signal to the driver the distance they have to go. You're doing great, bro. You got like 12 feet. 12 feet? There's no way. To do this, simply hold your arms up, bent at the elbow, and move your hands closer together as they get much closer, representing how much further they need to back up. If the driver is coming in hot and going a little too fast, you'll want to bend your arms at the elbows, and with your palms downward, have your hand motion downward. This is to signify the driver needs to slow down. This can be especially helpful if you're guiding a new driver or if the driver starts to become frustrated and is making hasty maneuvers. Another extremely useful signal to use if you're experienced at backing up a trailer is to tell the driver when to cut the wheel to the left and right. For most people that are new to backing up a trailer, knowing when to cut the wheel, how far to turn it, and for how long is the hardest part of backing up. If you're able to walk someone through that process, chances are you'll be a legend in their eyes. To signal this motion, make circles with your index finger to the left or to the right, depending on which direction they need to cut the wheel. Lastly, some best practices of verbal cues. First, give distances, even if they're approximate. If you say about five feet left is always more helpful than a simple, eh, keep coming. If the driver cannot hear you, be sure to use your hands to represent distances. 
Be sure to consider the driver's left and right instead of your own. And lastly, ask the driver to stop and hold if you're unsure about clearance. And there you have it, folks, the basics of properly guiding an RV. If you found this video helpful or you simply enjoyed watching, please be sure to hit the like button. Also, if you know someone who could use this video, like your, say, beautiful, wonderful, lovely spouse, then be sure to give it a share. And if you want to see more content like this, then subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you can be one of the first to see when new videos are dropped. Thanks again for watching, folks. I'm Ian Baker, and until next time, we'll see you later. Ha, 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 ha.